Hi, everyone. How y'all doing today? My name is Valerie Pinkston. I use she and her, her pronouns. I am from the state of Mississippi. And today I have the pleasure of introducing our next month's Shiro of the month. I was for September and she is for October. And her name is Sharon. I'm going to let her introduce herself. Okay, thanks, Valerie. My name is Sharon DeQueer, and I am located in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. I am a thriving woman living with HIV for the last 25 years. I actually am a patient navigator at the organization I work at. Um, I've actually been here since I was diagnosed. I've actually been working here like 17 years. Now I'm in the role of a patient navigator. I serve on our community advisory council, um, which is sort of like a planning council in other places. I am the senior member of our Louisiana chapter of PWN, okay. and I am also a newly appointed, re-elected, selected board member of PWN USA National. Awesome. 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 Uh Got a couple of questions for you. It's only a couple. Okay. <laughs> the first one is, what brought you to PWN and how has it impacted your life? Oh, wow. Okay. Good question. Um, What actually brought me to PWN, um, I went to my first United States Conference on AIDS um, in 2008. And it was in Palm Springs, California. I met some people ladies um but i met one lady in particular and her name was pat kelly um pat kelly was involved with pwn when they were connected with world and she introduced me to pwn and it gave me a place to feel connected because at that time i didn't know many women living with hiv not even in my home city you know so mm -hmm. those meetings, it, it just gave me a connection to other people like me. Um, and that's what PWN did for me in the beginning. It gave me a sense of belonging. But then as I got more and more involved, um, when we, PWN left world and I was, when we formed our first organization and we got together with a board, I was the original vice chair of that board. Um, so I've been around PWN a long time and I like the impact that we play in a lot of women's lives because without PWN, a lot of those women would be lost. Um, they would know, you know, I think we give them guidance um, and we offer direction, but most importantly, we offer support as other women living with HIV. Yes, yes, love it. Thank you. Thank you for that answer. Uh, the next question is, what project or campaign have you been working on recently and what inspires you? to continue pushing forward? Right now, our chapter, we just came off of working on our biggest campaign, I'm going to say, is the abstract liberation for Black women. Mm -hmm. And we just did a um, session at the previous USCHA that was held in New Orleans, Liberation Way, Creating Spaces for Black Women. Um, and that was real, it was a real dialogue because it brought in not only Black women, but we brought in, it was Black women from different areas of the state. For instance, I live in a rural, a city, like suburban part of the state. We had w women from a perspective from the, um, rural area of the state. We brought in the transgendered perspective for women. 
and we even brought in the Latino um okay. perspective. And it was just a dialogue because even though we're all in the state of Louisiana, um, a tagline in our um session said that once black women are free, we all will be free. And and that's the truth because regardless of the color or your actual demographic, whether you are rural, urban, suburban, Latino, we all face the same challenges as yes. women. Yes. Okay. The last question. How does it feel being named PWN's next Shiro of the Month? Girl, I was shocked when I got that email. I know. Um, because it's never, the work I do is never about accolades. It's always about helping the next person. Yes. And just to see that, I mean, it was like, you know that, that phrase, give people their flowers while they're living? Yes, yes. I mean, it, it was an, innate, an amazing honor because I don't know where the nomination came from. I don't even question it, but it, it it's a real honor, and I am truly honored to be named the Shiro of the month. Yes, I know. I did something right, and somebody yes. was watching. Yes, yes, yes. I felt the same way last month. So I thank you so much for coming and sharing your story, and thank you for being our Shiro of the month. And, and I thank um, you for having me. Yes. You have any final words to give uh anyone or just to anything you want would like to say? I would just like to say thank you for the honor. And yeah, we just gotta keep moving. We got a lot of work to do. Well, you were right about that. And I want to take the time to say thank everyone for attending today and watching our new Shiro in her glory. And thank you so much, Miss Sharon. And, and thank you. Yes. And if you want to know anything else about our nominees, you can go to visit our website at pwn slash usa.org. And thank you all for today. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Sharon. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.